Yeah, it's rainy, got a little bit of hail. If you're going out this night, not everybody has it, okay. but where right. we do have it, it'd be a good evening to just kind of hang out inside maybe with the beverage, right? Yeah. There you go. Why not? <laughs> Bethlehem, there you go. You got some rainfall, but notice things starting to illuminate a little bit. And some of you may be getting some cool shots of a rainbow. And that, of course, is when the rain has passed you and the sun is behind. So if you get some of those, we'd love to see some. Hit me up on Facebook, Bill Kelly Weather, and we'll look at some of those photos. I like to reshare those as well. Here's what it looks like in Philadelphia the rain coming down a little bit lighter than it was. Was just 10 minutes ago, but still coming down nonetheless. 54 is the temperature in Philly. That's gone up two degrees since we last met. 57 around Dover. Look at this. You got 52 in Allentown. It's a chilly evening for this time of year. Atlantic City, nothing but sunshine down the shore. Still cool at 57. You got 57 for Westchester with the rain. Doylestown. 55. So here's the current radar. And we have some of the heavier rain, the oranges and the yellows that you see. This is now North Philadelphia crossing over the Delaware into parts here of Camden County and down south of that as well. But back along the Schuylkill Expressway through, say, Norristown up near King of Prussia. The heaviest part of this storm, though, is in Salem County, the tail end of this, where over the last 15 minutes we have not had any reports, at least on the radar, of cloud to ground lightning strikes. We did with this system. In fact, this one has a history of a couple of areas that saw hail. Not severe, but in Chester County, two reports, one quarter inch in diameter, one a half an inch in diameter. So small P and marble size, but still some hail with that one. Brand new future cast data doing a pretty good job pinpointing these cells as they move on through. Expect what you have out your window right now, that off and on rain shower throughout the evening hours tonight. So you're going to have dry time and then it may rain and get a little lightning. Some dry time, a little rain and lightning. And that goes through the overnight hours and into early parts of tomorrow. Your drive tomorrow morning, patchy foggy spots, some light rain showers here and there, but generally dry through about uh, it'll it'll start to taper off any of those rain showers through about noon. After that, the clouds clear on out and it's a pretty nice afternoon. Still cool in the 60s, but pretty nice. That's tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Take you to Friday at 6 o'clock. Advance it. Look at this. The brand new model data continuing to bring in the rain. Friday evening, the heaviest of this overnight and into Saturday morning. And if this verifies as is, it is a rainy start to your day Saturday, 7 o'clock. Here's a look at 9 o'clock. By noon, a batch of this starts to move out. But the newest models continue to bring us an inch or two inches of rain out of this system. So definitely an impact maker for sure. Evening plans Friday, daytime plans on Saturday. Have those backup plans. The later we get into the day on Saturday, the better you get, better chance of it being dry. So let's back up for a second. Tomorrow, 65 early rain showers, they taper off. Friday, increasing clouds. Friday night and Saturday, we get the rain. We're dry Sunday morning, but then Sunday night and into Monday, even rainier for that system, guys. So we're going to watch two systems roll on through, mainly Friday night and Saturday, Sunday night. And Monday, when it's all said and done, inches of rain by the time we meet here on Monday. Send it back over. Inches, inches. Okay, buddy, thank you.